Mr. Speaker, I rise today to su submit my private, private member's motion, M207, that in the opinion of the House, in recognition of the service sacrifices made by Canadians in the liberation of the Netherlands, as well as the contributions made to Canada by those of Dutch heritage, the government should recognize every May 5th as Dutch Heritage Day to honour this unique bond. Today in Canada, Mr. Speaker, approximately one million people can trace their roots to the Netherlands, and they can be found right across Canada. I shared his heritage with my friend from Chatham, uh, Chatham Kent, and many others I see in the chamber, and of course millions of Canadians uh, who have uh, Dutch roots and uh, live across this wonderful country we have. Uh, this day will recognize the significant bond between our two countries, Netherlands and Canada, one that was established by the sacrifices by many Canadians in the liberation of the Netherlands, as well as the contributions made up in Canada by Dutch people with Dutch heritage. And, but we also have influences such as trade that tie the knot of friendship between Canada and the Netherlands even tighter. The Netherlands is, is Canada's third largest export market in Europe and tenth globally. And the Netherlands is Canada's second largest source of foreign investment after the United States. Bilateral trade is flourishing between the two countries. The Netherlands is Canada's fifth largest trading partner. In 2016, trading goods between the two countries was estimated at $6.5 billion, and in 2017, that climbed to $7.5 billion. Many Canadian and Dutch companies and instit institutions cooperate in areas such as urban planning, health care, agricultural, and green energy. In my riding, where you find the largest collection of greenhouses in North America, we have benefited greatly from the Dutch, who are the largest greenhouse growers in the world and leaders of greenhouse technology globally. We have entered into many bilateral agreements in the past with the Dutch as well, such as the UN ban on landmines in 1996. We fought side by side together in Afghanistan. We cooperate in many foreign aid projects in third world countries. All in all, a bond of friendship that continues to grow as both countries mutually participate in a world of shared values. As chair of the Canadian Netherlands Parliamentary Friendship Group, it was a great honour to meet the Prime Minister of the Netherlands at the Ottawa airport upon his arrival last fall. The time uh, I had spent with him, of course, and Ambassador Henk van der Swam during his visit was a great honour. It's important for us to celebrate this bond between our two countries. May 5th is significant to the Dutch community because it was on that day in 1945 that the Nazi, Nazi army surrendered, and it was after a brutal, brutal winter. The freedom of the Netherlands was achieved by the efforts of Canadian soldiers. Many paid the ultimate sacrifice. As was mentioned, more than 7,600 Canadians died in the campaign in the Netherlands. A tremendous sacrifice for the freedom. In appreciation, the Dutch began to send tens of thousands of tulip bulbs every year, the Dutch national flower, followed by thousands more by the Dutch royal family. The donations became an annual tradition, resulting in the Canadian Tulip Festival here in Ottawa. Each year, Canadian veterans make a pilgrimage to the Netherlands and lay poppies at the graves of their fallen, fallen comrades. Today, the children of Dutch immigrants number amongst farmers, contractors, teachers, accountants, doctors, lawyers, business people, and yes, even members of parliament. Each one of these considers themselves to be Canadian. Yes, of Dutch descent first, and foremost, but foremost, Canadian. Dutch Canadians love this country and consider it their home. They came from a country that loves this country and considers it their greatest friend. On May 5th this year, and from this year on, let us celebrate this unique bond. It is my hope that in the establishment of Dutch Heritage Day, Canada recognizes the voice of a grateful nation that says, thank you, Canada. And in response, Canadians recognize what the Netherlands has given to us and say, thank you, Holland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah.